Okay, so assalamu alaikum. Well, in this video, we'll take a look at the subthalamus and epithalamus, which are both the components of the diencephalon. So, what is the subthalamus? So, basically, the structure of the uh, diencephalon present beneath the thalamus that is called as a subthalamus, right? So, uh, th subthalamus is also consisting of some of the important nuclei. Or, some of the nuclei are basically midbrain side upper, that are displaced over there. For example, some portion of the red nuclei, some portion of the substantia nigra, right? So that uh, they both form the subthalamic nucleus. Or, in this, basically, the shape of it is biconvex shape of it. And its since its afferents are there, they are many from the teg uh, tegmentum. Some are there from the thalamic nucleus. Some are there from the other components as well which are important for the control of the muscle activity so it has got some important connections to the corpus striatum as well which is basal ganglia in the body so this is our brain basal ganglia right so basal ganglia is related to the relations it is also involved in the control of the muscular activity and the tracts and the fibers we look at the level of midbrain they also ascend towards the thalamus and we have the middle lemniscus spinal lemniscus trigeminal lemniscus lemniscus etc so this is this is the subthalamus, right? Then we have the epithalamus. Uh, epithalamus basically two important structures are there. First of all, we have the hypnolar nuclei, which connect to the uh, our uh, pineal gland, right? So pineal gland as well as the hypnolar nuclei are included in the epithalamus. Okay. So first, we will see the hypnolar nuclei. Ko, ke ye kaise dikhte hain. So uh, just posterior to the thalamus, I should say posterior and inferior to the thalamus, we have the presence of these nuclei called as a hypnolar nuclei. Two are on each side, pe, and both are connected by the hypnolar commissure. Ne. All right. So just posterior to these, we also have the presence of the uh, pineal gland as well. Or pineal gland, which connect with the uh, diencephalon with the help of stalk called as a panel stalk and the panel stalk in the inferior portion we have the nuclei in the inferior portion and in the superior portion we have the posterior commission so as I told you that there is an anterior commission and a posterior commission so the panel gland is stalked which is connected with the diencephalon and the stalk is under presence of the hypnolar commission and the hypnolar nuclei and the hypnolar sorry our posterior commission so this is the region of the hypnolar nuclei and the posterior commission and the panel gland posterior to the diencephalon or thalamai right this is the same thing so अगर बात पहले बात की जाए हेपनोलर कमिश्नर के तो उसकी कुछ कनेक्शंस होते हैं जो कि सी वो नीचे आपे नजर आ रही होंगी एमेग्डोलर न्यूक्लियर राइट सो एमेग्डोलर न्यूक्लियर के साथ कनेक्शन हुआ होता है हेपनोलर न्यूक्लियर का बाय द वे ऑफ दिस ट्राइमेडुलर सेल में हमने लास्ट वीडियो में देखा था कि कुछ सेप्टल न्य� वो हमें नजर आ गया यहाँ पर। So the first connection between the hypnolar nuclei and the medullary nucleus is by the way of the stramedullaris thalamus, right? इसलिए आप कहा जाता है कि कुछ fibers form हमारे पास hippocampus से भी आ रहे होते हैं by the way of fornix वो भी इसके अंदर आके terminate कर रहे होते हैं by the again the stramedullaris thalamus, right? तो इसे कुछ इसके काफी सारे efferents बन जाते हैं। कि इसके हमारे hypnolar is key have another new flag right so in the same way it's also getting some information from the hippocampus some from the uh, our these I mean to learn nucleus to you if there's a basal nuclear exactly connected it or you are hippocampus that we can enter the donor get the man the present right so good for next five with iron coach is time with their cinemas and fiber are in so it is due to this you can say integration of the fibers between the various organs it is basically involved in the integration of the olfactory visual and somatic different pathways until the integration of the organic disorder and have another nuclear right so in this way it is there then we have the presence of the pineal gland as well so as, as i already told you that this is a gland that is connected with the diencephalon by the via the pineal stalk this is stalk right or this stalk is superior portion we have the presence of the hypnol nuclear this stalk in inferior portion we have the presence of the posterior commissure as well so this was the pineal gland and it has pinealocytes which are basically secrete melatonin right and it also has some glial cells और अगर इसी पानी ग्लैंड में एक रिलेशन हो जाए कुछ कैल्शियम कंक्रीशंस किसी को हम बोलते हैं ब्रेन सैंड ओके सो that was just और इसकी stalk के अंदर एक cavity भी होती है right जो इस चीज़ के जरिए से communicate करती है वो तो cavity of the third ventricle so ये ही दो चीज़ें होती हैं जो कि हमारे पास होती हैं epithalamus में कौन-कौन सी hypnolar nuclei और the pineal gland और जो सब thalamus में थी वो मैं देखी थी कुछ red nuclei थे और कुछ substantia nigra के portions थे किसके midbrain से आ रहे थे और वो muscle activity control करते हैं ये यहाँ पे integration हो रही है olfactory visceral और somatic efferent pathways के आपस में integration करने का काम किसक so with this note we are done with the epithalamus and the subthalamus i hope it was helpful for you thank you so much allah hafiz